All right, hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to update the um, UI in an efficient way. Um, you can see on the top right, my score is not being updated. All right, so let's see how we can fix that. All right, so first things first, you're going to need um, some sort of UI widget. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in this particular tutorial, uh, but I will show you. You got to make sure you have it set up. So here on the event begin play, you want to create some sort of UI widget. Um, make sure you've set it um, and added it to your viewport. And then you want to make sure that you dump it out to a variable. All right. Uh, so you have access to the UI widget. All right. If I head over to my my UI here. See, I have a number of different things, a couple different text blocks, but we're going to focus on this score here. All right. So in this, uh, if you select your text element that you want to modify, you could give it a name over on this side or up at the top here on the details. You want to just click is variable. Uh, this is a way to do things without having to bind here, which people on Twitter were talking about as a uh, bad way to do things. And so uh, if you want to do something that's probably a little bit more efficient, just use is variable up here. And then you can go to your event graph. And what we're going to do is create an event that will update the score. So I'm going to create a custom event. And we'll call it update score. All right, and what you'll see here is that the points are now a variable that we can look at. Um, just to demonstrate that, if I unclick it and look over here, we don't have access to it. And there's just no way to get access to it in here. Um, so you need it to be a variable. So click, now you have it as a variable, and you can get it. And now you can actually modify what's going on in here. Um, so we are going to um, set text of our points here. All right. And what are we going to set the points to? Well, we need to get the points from somewhere. So in our event, we're going to add an input. And we'll just call this points. And if you just drag it off into the text here for the update, I will give you the value that will send to that number text box. All right. So now that we have this custom event, back over in our player controller where we've created this UI, um, and we've we have access to our UI here. So I have a another section here where on the player side we update the score and we keep track of it. Okay. And so I'm setting the score here. And this is an event that happens every time you break a brick or something like that. But what we're going to do is, after we update our score, we're going to grab our score, reference to our score UI widget and then drag off. And now we should have access to the update score method that's on, or the event that's on our UI. Now, if we drag off our score here, or you can you know, load the variable in there do that so you can also just drag the score like this all right so we have our reference to the score UI we're passing in whatever the new updated score is and then we're sending it to our UI and that should be all that we need to do to see our score update um, and this is a little bit more performant than using bind, which apparently runs on every tick. So this only runs when we call that uh, update score uh, event. So there you go. Hopefully that was easy enough for you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. All right, please like and subscribe. Thanks.